Hey everyone, Jeff Bacalar with E3 2013. We're here at Sony's booth. I can't exactly touch it, but right behind this glass is the PlayStation 4 that we just found out about at the company's E3 press conference. It is a lot smaller than we thought, and it does seem to appear to be a little bit smaller than the Xbox One. It's got an interesting sort of uh, angled edge to it, and uh, we can't really see any of the ports here, but uh, we do know that it has an HDMI out. And we can see that there's two USB ports by checking out the side of the console right here. The PlayStation 4 is a Blu-ray player and a DVD player. All right, here it is, the DualShock 4. Uh, it's the first time I'm getting my hands on what that middle sensor feels like. It's kind of one big button. You can push it from really anywhere on the entire surface of it. It does feel a little wider than the uh, DualShock uh, 3 but I really have to uh, get them side by side. Not a gigantic uh, difference on the actual button, face buttons here, but I'm super excited to find out that the analog sticks have a much more reliable grip to them. The D-pad is uh, pretty similar to the original DualShock 3. Let's check out the, the triggers here. You can see the uh, color sort of LED back here. That's gonna work with the PlayStation camera. The uh, touchpad is flanked by a share and options button. And then it looks like we got a speaker right below that as well. And then below that is the PlayStation button. So this has been a first look at the PlayStation 4. It'll be $400 when it releases later on this year. I'm Jeff Bacalar for CNET.com. Thanks for watching.